is your day going okay? I'm on my walk. And I thought I would take a few minutes to introduce you to a great fitness tool I use to uh, manage my fitness and weight. As soon as I stop, we'll take a look at this miracle tool. All right. I'm at the Brighton Coffee House here in uh, Brighton, Michigan, after my walk. Uh, I'm at a place I can show you this great tool. But I won't go in depth about the tool, but I'll just cover how to use it uh, to ensure I stay within my calorie goals. And not only that, but I ensure I'm receiving the right nutrients I need based on what my doctor's recommendations are after completing the battery of tests. It's not only important to track calories, it's equally important to make sure those calories provide the nutrients you need to optimize your fitness program. Okay, so let's take a few moments and look at this app. Uh, what I want to show you on this app is simply a day of nutrition and how much you can do with this, just this element of this app. There's so much more to it. Uh, the link will be in the description of this video. Uh, I'm not going to cover the whole app, but I am simply going to show you how this can help you uh, uh, maintain your fitness and nutrition. If you notice at the top up here, there's uh, calories remaining that talks about your calorie goal. So uh, here we are. Uh, let me just kind of come down through this app and show you that. For example, uh, I ate breakfast around 10.35. Um, uh, basically, I had some potatoes and onions. Those were actually uh, hash rounds, uh, some turkey link sausage, a couple of eggs, and some blueberries. Uh, equaled out to be about 423 calories. And then at lunch, uh, I ate about 3.20. Uh, PM. I had some blueberries and uh, some plain almonds, a small handful of almonds for lunch. And that's really all I've eaten up to the day. But outside of knowing that I've only eaten 530 calorie or 553 calories of the 1630 calories I have, uh, the uh, I, I have added some snacks in here, and these are uh, actually really my uh, multivitamins that I take. I put them down in the snack area. But what I want to show you is not only is the calorie count and what you're eating important, but we can take a look at the nutrition that we're getting when we're eating. For example, we can see here I'm way over on my cholesterol and... Uh, vitamin C and calcium counts, uh, a little under an iron, um, not too bad for vitamin A, potassium, um, we'll eat a banana later and uh, kind of uh, cover some of that. You can see we can go back and forth to yesterday, today, uh, <laughs> it's one of the dilemmas that they slide real easy. Uh, we can look up here and see that the protein is up. Uh, about half of the protein for the day. Carbohydrates are down, fiber is down, sugar's down, fat's down. Uh, so all in all, not a bad nutritional outlook except the cholesterol. What really makes the premium worth buying on this is we can go in and click on that cholesterol and find out where all of the cholesterol is coming from. Well, it's coming from the eggs. And so we have, you know, you have to make a decision whether you believe the research on eggs and that eggs provide good cholesterol and uh, that wouldn't be a bad thing then uh, however if uh, if i really wanted a feel for what would happen if i um, if i uh, wanted to bring that cholesterol down what we could do is go back into the app go into breakfast change the egg count to one egg hit that now we can go back and uh, or let's add it here. Now we can go back down into nutrition and look and see cholesterol is only 56 over. So that, that's quite a bit of difference. Your nutrients you can take a look at from two perspectives. I take a look at them from all the nutrients because 
My doctor, uh, when we did my physicals, we did a lot of blood work, and we're going to do another one about, we do one about every six months to take a look at where all of these things stand to make sure everything is still cool uh, and what I need to do from a dietary perspective. But you can just take a look at it basically at the breakdown. We have 32% carbohydrate, which is really good because carbohydrates is what puts weight on you. 42% fat is not really bad because a lot of the fat that I'm getting is out of the eggs, for example. Uh, we can see where most of the fat's coming from by clicking on there. There again, it's eggs and those uh, sausage uh, are the primary fat drivers here. But I'm getting a lot of protein too. And you might want to say, well, where's the protein coming from? So you can take a look at that and see that that is coming from the turkey links, the egg, uh, the potato in general. Uh, so I'm getting a lot of protein. Those eggs do have a benefit to them that a lot of people have been down upon in the past, but eggs don't tend to be too bad. So we can see here, uh, just generally speaking, how that helps. You can see where the exercise from Fitbit uh, came into the picture here. So syncing with that Fitbit application uh, is a big, big help uh, show what's going on with uh, our nutrition as well as uh, our, our uh, exercise. So these two programs make it exceptionally easy. Uh, if you want to go, for example, if we were going to add something uh, to the program, let me see here. For example, one of the snacks I will probably have tonight is uh, something called uh, popcorn, it's a natural substance to eat. So I try to have that for snacks tonight. So if I want to add that in, I can simply take that and actually go do a barcode, see uh, the product. And then what happens is we find where the barcode is on this. There it is right there look and it puts it in there for you without any problem whatsoever. So uh, you can see that this is very, very beneficial in terms. So there we have our organic popcorn tonight. Um, that's still going to leave me 983 calories short. So dinner will take up probably three to 500 of that. So I'll probably be under my calories that I'm allowed by about 300. So and uh, there you have it. Uh, I just wanted you to see this is once again, it's called My Fitness Pal. Uh, and I'll put the link to it uh, in the description of uh, this video. Okay, now you can, uh, you can also make fitness tracking virtually effortless. Uh, and I'm going to produce a program after this one on Fitbit and the app I use. It syncs so beautifully with the MyFitnessPal app. These two apps basically take all the pain out of tracking my fitness. It makes it easy for me to show my doctor everything from the treatment, from the nutrients to the exercise. Stay tuned for my next video. Till then, remember fitness and good health is as simple as eating less, eating the right foods, exercising if it works for you, and getting a good night's sleep. Now, for some great coffee at the Brighton Coffee House and Theater of Brighton, Michigan. You know I've earned it. Ciao.